Hey there, it's Dr. K with Infinite Magic Productions, and in today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to convert a decimal into a radical. So, let's do some examples. Um, let's start off with a decimal such as 2.828. So, you're required to turn this decimal into a radical. A radical is function with uh, a square root, a cubic root, or some kind of root. So we know that a larger number, when you take the square root, the cubic root, or a higher root of it, is going to equal 2.88, uh, 2.828, but we don't know what. So the simplest way to do this is going to keep multiplying this number by itself until you reach a whole number. So if we take 2.828 multiplied by itself, so it's 2.828 squared, you're going to get an approximate number of 7.9 dot dot dot. So from here, you know that because 2.828 isn't an exact number, and when you square it, you get 7.9939, for example. Um, this means that 2.828 is derived from the square root of 8. It's a very rough approximation. So in this case, we got lucky because we had a square root. So it was the square root of 8 that was equal to 2.828. Now let's say that we have um, a higher root, but we don't know what it is. So let's say we're given 1.316, and we're supposed to convert this into a radical. So once again, what we're going to start off with is taking 1.316 squared, and this is going to come out to 1.73 dot dot dot. So 1.73 isn't close enough to an even number such as 2, so we're going to keep multiplying it. So what we're going to figure out is that you need to take 1.73 squared again, and in this case you get an approximation of 2.9 nine dot dot dot. In this case, 2.99 is close enough to 3 that we know that 1.316 had to be multiplied by itself four times in order to get 3. So the radicand is 3 and it's a fourth root. Remember that in some cases you're going to get an index of Three here, for example, this is the index, in which case you would have to take the decimal that you're given and multiply it by itself three times. And here in all these examples, we used an even index, so we had to multiply the number by itself several times or square it several times. Um, in some cases, you can try this at home if you take the third root of a number. So let's just do an example. We're going to take the third root of 7. And what can you can do at home is take out your calculator, take the third root of 7, see what it's equal to. Then take that number and multiply it by itself three times. In that case, you get an approximation such as 6.98 or 6.99, where you know that your approximation is close enough to 7. So there you have it. That's how you convert decimals into radicals. Thanks for watching and come back for more. I'm Dr. K.